Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to get straight into it and I'm actually starting off with a bit of skincare prep today. So I picked up the new Thirst Trap mask from Wishful Skin, which is Huda Beauty's new skincare brand, um, because I really wanted to try it out. She also has this kind of, I can't remember what it's called, like chin lift one as well, which I want to try out, but I thought I'd start with this one first. Um, I feel like everyone's skin can do it with a bit of hydration, especially before they put on any makeup. You don't want any dry patches or anything like that. Even me as an oily girl, I can still appreciate some nice hydration. So it's also just a nice time to kind of pamper yourself and relax a little bit. So I'm leaving this on for 20 minutes. I'm just going to like chill, watch a bit of Friends. What else are you going to do in quarantine, you know? Um, and then once you're done, it's just a case of peeling it off. And you don't need to wash off any of the residue. You actually just um, work that into your skin, um, kind of like a moisturiser. And it just creates such a nice hydrating base for makeup. I really, really recommend using this before, actually, because it almost worked kind of like a, a gripping primer because it was a little bit tacky. So I did add a little bit of my hydrating primer as well from Fenty Beauty because we are doing pretty much an all Fenty Beauty um, tutorial for this one. I was lucky enough to be sent the new Cheeks Out collection, which honestly, I wanted to cry when I got it. I was so excited. I just had the biggest grin on my face and the products did not disappoint. And you'll obviously see a bit later in the video, but we're going to start off with concealing so i've actually been doing um generally my contour and highlighting before my foundation so i'm taking the pro filter concealer i believe i'm in the shade 190 in this so i'm popping this in all of the areas where i want that kind of extra coverage so like um, underneath my eyes chin i have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my top lip which kind of looks like a five o'clock shadow sometimes which is not cute so we like to cover that um, and then in the middle of the forehead as well because I don't like to have too too much product on my forehead because that can look cakey real quick so um, I'll just put a light little bit of foundation on after that um, but I'm just using my Morphe damp sponge and make sure that you dampen that before you use it because um, it won't soak up so much product and then I've had a fair few breakouts I have to say during this lockdown time so I'm just taking a bit of my soft matte concealer from NARS which is incredible it's such high coverage um, and I just pop that straight onto any blemish. Then I'm gonna take the hydrating longwear foundation from Fenty Beauty as well. Um, I can't remember what shade I'm in, it might be 210 in this, but I pop a bit on the back of my hand um, and I kind of stipple it out on my hand first and then apply it to my face just so I'm not actually applying that much product and I really kind of push that and blend that into the skin to try and make it look as natural as possible and I lightly go over any areas where I have concealed. And now we are going in with one of the new products. This is the cream bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit, which is actually the perfect shade for me. I was really surprised. I kind of thought it might be a little bit light, but it's absolutely perfect. And I'm also using this brush also from Fenty Beauty. Let me find it quickly so I can get the name. Oh, it's the 125 Face Brush from Fenty Beauty. This is so good. It just, as you can see, blended it out so flawlessly. And I'm just popping that in all of the areas that we'd normally kind of cream contour and cream bronze. And I feel like it kind of bronzed up and contoured at the same time. So I didn't really need to use that much when it came to powder. And I'm popping a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well for a really light um, nose contour. And I drag that into kind of my crease um, and into my brow as well. I really love this look when it kind of connects into the nose contour. And now the stars of the show are obviously the cream blushes. I was kind of deciding between these three shades and I decided to go with the middle one, which is the strawberry drip shade. They have really cool um, names, actually love them. And there were so many and I was sent all of them. So I was so, so lucky. Um, and they felt so nice when I swatched them. As you can see, I've got a little swatch mark going on. But I just used the same um, face brush from Fenty Beauty again. Um, it already had a bit of the bronzer on, which just helped to kind of blend it all together. And as you can see, they're like, they're nicely pigmented, but not too crazy. So you, you don't have to worry about popping too much on. They're really nice and buildable and it just gives you such a nice flush to the cheek. I did also go in with my damp sponge as well, picked a bit more up. And that was a really nice way to kind of make sure it blended out seamlessly with everything else. And then, I mean, we might as well continue with Fenty. So I'm just taking some of the Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Butter. Um, taking this little dose of colours. I think it's a tapered blush brush, but I just use it for whatever, you know. So I'm just setting all of the areas where we concealed and everything really lightly. And then I do go over my entire face just with a, the tiniest bit of powder because I've, I do have oily skin. So um, if I don't set my makeup, it does tend to slip and slide a little bit. So even just the tiniest bit of powder 
all over my face works really well just to set that all in place and then I just thought I might as well set the cream bronzer in place so I'm just taking the Shady Biz uh, bronzer also from Fenty Beauty literally I can do my whole face with Fenty products now I love it um, and this is a really nice shade as well and just kind of set it all in place love it all about it and just gave a little bit of extra bronzing you know there's nothing wrong with that we're not really getting much sunshine at the moment so you've got to take it where you can and then I was also sent the um, body lava and the highlighter in cognac candy I think it is um, I'll make sure that I link everything in the bottom bar below um, so I just popped the tiniest amount of this on because it is a little bit too dark for me if I was super tanned I might be able to get away with it but this would look unbelievable on darker skin tones so I did add a little bit of a normal highlighter over the top as well and then I'm taking the um, cream blush in the shade rose latte and I'm actually using this um, as a kind of a base for my eyeshadow so this was obviously a really nice shade but too uh, dark for me it would look really nice on a deeper skin tone so I thought I can at least get some use out of them as a base for eyeshadow because I really like to use something a little bit more liquidy kind of like the melted shadows from Huda Beauty and things like that um, as a nice base so I popped that on first and went over with um, I used one of the snap shadows I think it was uh, the number one snap shadow from Fenty um, and it's like a basically an all neutrals palette and I just took one of the neutral shades and popped that in the crease as well and then um, just kind of built that up I think is this a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush just a big fluffy brush whatever you want to use um, you could actually even use your bronzer for that but you don't even need to use an eyeshadow and then in the same snap shadow palette I'm taking the dark brown shade first stamping it um, as a kind of smoky liner effect and then I decided that actually I just wanted to kind of blend it all into the outer corner um, and kind of wing that out a little bit so that's what I'm doing here using a kind of more tapered fluffy brush um, I kind of stamped the shade on first and then I blend that into the outer portion of the crease and as you can see it just gives a really nice kind of winged out effect and it all looks nice and blended and gorgeous then I'm going into another snap shadow for the lid shade so this is snap shadow 8 palette and I'm taking the yellow uh, shimmer shade this isn't all shimmer palette it's all different shimmer colors and they're so so pretty um, so I'm taking the yellow shade and it actually came out looking really gold more of like a yellow gold and it looks so good These are so pigmented. It is crazy as you can see I'm literally just dipping my brush in lightly popping it onto the lid and that is all I need I don't even need to add any setting spray or wet the brush or anything um, And then I'm just adding a little bit of those uh, outer corner shades onto my lower lash line Because you know you gotta match it all up love it. I'm just using a little fluffy brush and you can actually blend it down quite far with lower lash line but today I just kind of went a little bit more uh, demure shall we say and then I'm taking the naked lip liner from Urban Decay and just lining my lips with it I really really love this I got a couple um, of the more kind of neutral shades from Urban Decay and their lip liners are really really nice I started off with the naked shade and then I used the shade what shade is this Conspiracy which is like a darker brown and as you can see I'm just going over right in the center um, to deepen it up a little bit and this just um, gives the appearance of a more kind of pouty look um, and if you're overlining it just helps to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic just a tad and then I'm taking my absolute favorite nude of all time which is the stunner lip paint in the shade unbutton from Fenty oh my god these lip paints are life they are my favorite liquid lipstick if you have not tried them you need them in your life they are so long lasting but also so comfortable they don't dry out your lips which i absolutely hate um and then i'm just adding um some faux freckles because why not i've been doing that quite a lot recently i have actually got some freckles that have come out um, when i've been sitting in the garden getting some sunshine so i'm just letting them pop through again and that is the final look you guys as you can tell i'm very very happy and i was able to receive this new collection and i absolutely love the products honestly go out and get them like they are so nice um i really really love cream products i think they blend so easily they look so flawless oh so into them if you did like the video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it and apart from that i hope you guys have an amazing week stay safe stay home and i will check to you guys in the next one bye